All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. So here he is making his way to the Octagon for another heavyweight title defense. This has been the baddest man on the planet now for several years, and he has taken on all comers more often than not, leaving them twitching on the canvas, knockout power for days. The question is tonight, with a challenge like this, can he walk out the way he came in as the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world? for this heavyweight championship fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height and reach. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. It's reducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet six inches tall, weighing in at 211 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, USA. Presenting the challenger, Bo Crusher. And now introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding professional record of. 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habiba the Eagle. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up, and we are underway. So here we go with round one, and when you have what looks like a classic matchup of striker versus grappler, it doesn't always play out that way, but given what these fighters said to us on Thursday, the game plans seem pretty good. They're very clear game plans, but which one of them is able to implement the game plan most effectively? The grappler will try to get forward, get close, try to secure takedowns. He's even willing to pull guard to make sure that he is in the grappling situations. The striker needs to stay at space. The striker needs to maintain distance and fight behind that beautiful jab he possesses. 
Oh, nice land there with the punch. You see, he's taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Straight right hand now, just misses. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the count. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. Oh, man, this guy kicks like a mule. So hard. He kicks so hard every time you can see him drive his shit into his opponent. Oh, man, that couldn't have felt good. Flush knee lands to the body by the taller fighter. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Oh, and he lands another knee there, DC. He talked a lot to us about his length and his size advantage. Doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it certainly did. Nice punch lands over the top. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, big head kick lands. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Khabib Nurmagomedov. Look at him whip his hips into that kick. Nice head kick. Just misses with the right. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Just misses with the straight right. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. Body kick now by Nurmago Medov. Just out of range with the big right hand. The left punch is true, now the right hand. Nice leg kick. That's a pretty good right hand there by your teammate, Khabib Nurmagomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that when the hands come, you're not expecting it. And Khabib lands early and he lands off. Big, powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Straight right hand, no good. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Effective jab there by Nirmago Medov. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Just out of range with that right hand. Right on the button. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice kick with the right hand. Nice body kick right under the elbow. Nice punch by Nermago Meta. Back and forth we go. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Push kick there to the body. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. Lands a nice straight punch there. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. What do you follow up a great punch like this with? I'm excited to see what happens. Oh, and he caught the kick. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. 
All right, here we go with round two. Round one, pretty good, not great, but some action on both sides. We can't always hope for fireworks, John. Yeah. Sometimes we got to deal with the ebbs and flows of a fight. In round number one, you saw both guys have success. Let's see who really charges out ahead in the second round. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Nermago Medov. Oh, man, hit to land. Nice stick with the right hand. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. And that one was heavy. Oh! Clocks the shot. And they separate. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nermago Medov gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. And they separate. Ooh, head kick lands and hurts. Big leg kick land. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots. Oh, that is as big a strike as he has landed thus far tonight. Big, massive shot lands. Look at how tough his opponent is, though. Still standing, still in their fight. Nice punch lands. Blocks the shot to the body. Big kick lands. Trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. Oh, that's a beautiful strike there by Khabib. Don't call him a one-trick pony. Don't call him a one-trick pony, John, because he isn't. He is a guy that is able to mix everything up inside the octagon. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Beautiful kick. Nurmagomedov's kick to the body, that one blocked. And he connects with a punch there, we'll see if there's more. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits his double leg. Just over two minutes to go. This ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound companies. Man, this is some serious ground and pound. He's trying to put this dude's head, like, through the canvas. He's one of the better ground and pound fighters we have in the entire UFC, and you're seeing why. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. Got to be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Continues to apply pressure here in half guard. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Pretty good ground and pound by him here. He told us on Thursday he needed to be more effective in these situations. Certainly effective tonight. Many people have gone away from this style of fighting. This man has embraced it, and you are seeing why he's one of the best that we've seen do it in a long time. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Oh! Holy smokes! He's done, he's done! <laughs> Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight.
moment for the real DC as we look back at that scintillating knockout. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. So on the sport's biggest stage, he comes up large. The baddest man on the planet, the UFC heavyweight champion of the world, your winner and by knockout here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number two. Join the winner by knockout and still! So heavyweight title retained is the headline inside this arena here tonight. Congratulations to the still heavyweight champ. Uh, once again, proven he's the elite among the elite. In a division where everything can change in a second, this guy has brought consistency.